All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power in the Classic Physique Finals at the 2020 Arnold Classic just wrapped up. Um, so an interesting result here, so I'll give you guys the top six. So coming in sixth place here, you had Santi Aragon. Coming in fifth place, you had Ricky Moten. Coming in fourth, you had Abner Logan. And our top three was basically exactly what they showed us at prejudging based on the comparisons. Um, so in third place, you ended up having Steve Lorius. In second place, you ended up having Terrence Ruffin. And in first, you ended up having Alex Combernero. So congratulations to Alex Combernero for taking the victory there. I know he's a Redcon 1 athlete as well. I think this was a really good Arnold Classic lineup. I think, you know, a lot of people might have been disappointed that Steve slipped in placings. Um, obviously, last year he took second at the Arnold to George the Bull Peterson. Um, and a lot of people felt that Steve even could have won the Arnold Classic last year. Um, and again, I think the main reason why Steve slipped was conditioning. I mean, especially when they turned around from the back and hit those back shots, um, I really felt that you could see, you know, some watery, some water retention in Steve's glutes and his hamstrings um, compared to the other two guys in that top three, Terrence Ruffin and Alex Combernero. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this picture here of Terrence Ruffin because maybe the live stream isn't as clear um, as a picture might be, and maybe some of these videos weren't as clear as a picture might be. Um, but I want to stress how deeply conditioned Terrence Ruffin was, um, especially when he turned around from the back. And I think that's one of the points that really drawn out the re drawn out the weaknesses um, of a guy like Steve Lorius is how sharp Terrence really was from the back. Um, and I think when it came down to this to the final decision, I personally felt that Terrence was more conditioned than Alex Combernero. Um, but looking at it. I think that Alex probably took the win based on structure. When I was watching the finals posing, it seemed that Alex's structure um, was a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. When, he, you, when you put him next to Rough Diesel, he just was a little bit more um, eye-catching. I found myself during the posing routines and the comparisons um, being drawn more to Alex's physique than Terrence's, and that could be the reason for Alex beating Terrence here. But both of these guys had phenomenal conditioning, and I was extremely impressed by Terrence's conditioning. Um, I think he was arguably one of the most, if not the most conditioned guy on stage. His conditioning was nuts. Um, his glute hamstring tie-in was nuts. His posing is always phenomenal. He took the past year off of bodybuilding um, to focus on really making some additions and improvements to his physique and his muscularity. Um, and I think he really showcased those improvements very, very well at this year's Arnold Classic. Second place, um, nothing to be disappointed about for sure. And I'm definitely excited to see, you know, going into the Olympia, um, these guys like Terrence and Alex and Steve, the improvements they'll make for the Olympia stage, especially Steve. You know, I think Steve, he had a really great structure. He was probably... You know, he was a taller guy. He's a bigger guy. He had a lot of stage presence. He definitely made a lot of improvements from last year. Um, but again, I think the main thing holding him back was conditioning. It looked like some water retention to me, maybe a little bit of a film um, covering his physique. Had Steve nailed that conditioning, I think he would have won the show because I think based on structure um, and overall size, really, he was a little bit better than Terrence and Alex, but his conditioning, I think, really let him down here. And again, putting him next to a guy like Terrence, whose conditioning was just nuts, um, I think was no, you know, it, you know, it didn't do him any favors. So that is going to wrap it up for the classic physique coverage for you guys so far. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for continuous Arnold Classic coverage. I'll be covering it in depth and up to the minute um, all weekend long. So you guys can look forward to that. So make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the coverage. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.